Ancient Egypt is rich in history and culture, and it is no surprise that it is home to some of the most notable key figures in history. One such key figure is Cleopatra, who was the last pharaoh of Egypt, and is known for her political savvy and beauty. Another notable figure is King Tutankhamun, whose tomb was discovered fully intact with priceless treasures in 1922. Hatshepsut was the first female pharaoh and is known for her successful trade missions and temple constructions. Ramesses II is perhaps the most famous pharaoh and was known for his military conquests and grand temple constructions. So, the god of wisdom, was also an important figure in ancient Egyptian mythology. These key figures each played a vital role in shaping ancient Egypt's society, politics, and religion, and their legacies continue to inspire and intrigue people today. Through relics like hieroglyphics, temples, and ancient artifacts, we can still learn about the complex and fascinating civilization that these key figures were a part of. Ancient Egypt's rich history and importance continue to captivate people around the world and inspire the study of archaeology, anthropology, geography, social studies, and ancient civilizations. In 1922, an extraordinary archaeological discovery took place in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. British archaeologist Howard Carter, alongside his team, commenced the excavation of King Tutankhamun's tomb, unraveling the secrets of a long-forgotten era. This monumental undertaking aimed to explore the life and treasures of one of Egypt's most revered pharaohs. The meticulous process began by carefully removing debris from the entrance of the tomb. As they ventured deeper, the team encountered a staggering array of treasures and artifacts. Golden statues, intricately designed jewelry, and magnificent furniture were finally breathing the air after thousands of years hidden within the tomb's chambers. Within the burial chamber, Carter uncovered the awe-inspiring sarcophagus, adorned with royal symbols and hieroglyphics. Slowly and meticulously, they revealed the outer layers, until the innermost coffin was displayed, housing the remains of the boy king. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb captivated the world, who eagerly followed every step of the excavation. With each new find, experts pieced together a clearer picture of the young Foro's life, beliefs, and remarkable possessions. It was a voyage through time that offered invaluable insights into the splendors and mysteries of ancient Egypt. The excavation of King Tutankhamun's tomb marked a turning point in our understanding of ancient cultures. The wealth and artistry found within those chambers continue to inspire and amaze us today, reminding us of the greatness and enduring legacy of this ancient civilization. As ancient Egyptian rulers, pharaohs were both the heads of state and the religious leaders of their people. The word pharaoh means great house, a reference to the palace where the pharaoh resides. While early Egyptian rulers were called kings, over time, the name pharaoh stuck. As the religious leader of the Egyptians, the pharaoh was considered the divine intermediary between the gods and Egyptians. Maintaining religious harmony and participating in ceremonies were part of the pharaoh's role as head of the religion. As a statesman, the pharaoh made laws, waged war, collected taxes, and oversaw all the land in Egypt, which was owned by the pharaoh. Many scholars believe the first pharaoh was Narmer, also called Menes. Though there is some debate among experts, many believe he was the first ruler to unite Upper and Lower Egypt, this is why pharaohs hold the title of Lord of Two Lands. Pharaohs were typically male, although there were some noteworthy female leaders, like Hatshepsut and Cleopatra. Hatshepsut, in particular, was a successful ruler, but many inscriptions and monuments about her were destroyed after her death, perhaps to stop future women from becoming pharaohs. After their deaths, many pharaohs were entombed and surrounded by riches they were meant to use in the afterlife. Explorers and archaeologists have discovered these tombs and learned a great deal about ancient Egyptian society from them. 
One very famous example was in 1922 when archaeologist Howard Carter discovered the tomb of King Tutankhamun, a pharaoh who died when he was only 19.